lesson for everyone. So, so here in Vuosaaren Lukio we have a, a new kind of schooling called Lukion Valmistava Koulutus Maahanmuuttajille, LUVA. And uh, it's, it's a program that is a, a pilot program and, um, and so there, there's not one alike anywhere else in Finland. And it's a preparatory school for immigrant youth so they're all 15 to 18 year olds and um, well at first i have a little bit about vuasari vuasara lukio so lukio is high school or upper secondary school and uh, so we have a pretty big lukio with 500 students and 30 teachers and uh, so we are inside the lukio and that's one of the main things in luva that it's not uh, kind of an old program somewhere where there's no one else. It's with the other youth, with everyone else in Lukio. And so we kind of try to integrate these kids also to Lukio so that they know the teachers and they know other students here and that they would feel comfortable in starting Lukio after they've gone to, to our, our schooling. And uh, so it's a pilot program and it's actually Työ- ja elinkeinoministeriö, so it's the Ministry of Labor uh, who is organizing it, but actually the, so it's, it's the state who is funding it right now. But Helsinki City is organizing the whole, uh, the whole um, year, or we, this is our second year. And so we have me, I'm a kind of a counselor for the students, and then we have a, a Finnish teacher for the students. And uh, so if for everyone who feels immigrant. So we also, we have those who've been in Finland for two years, and we have some kids who've been in Finland their entire life, so they're totally Finnish, but they still feel maybe immigrant. It's, it's more of an identity question. Some, some kids who've lived in Finland their entire life still feel that they need support or help in, in something that, that they feel they're lacking because, because of their background as, as uh, kids of immigrants. And right now we have 15 students in this program and we're trying to hold that also as the maximum for the, for the, for the uh, group because it's very, very important also that we, we have time to see them all and listen and understand what their problems are and what they need help in. If they're 30, it would be very, very difficult because some of them never open their mouth in a in a classroom with 30 people. They might they might go through an entire course in Lukio without ever opening their mouth because they don't feel comfortable in speaking Finnish or they don't feel uh, or they don't feel that uh, they want to open their mouth because somebody would notice that you're not you're not like them. You know, you, you're, you're different. And, uh, and so it's also a place where we try to get everyone to open their mouths and speak uh, in Finnish, even though some have been in Finland their entire lives and some a few years. But I think like the average right now is uh, students that have gone Finnish school for probably three or four years. So they've, they've moved themselves to Finland 
uh, at the age of 10, 11, 12. And so they've, they've studied a few years in Finland, but it, they still have difficulties in, in Finnish language. And uh, there are young people who would really want to go to Lukio, to upper secondary school. Uh, they would probably want to be, many want to be lawyers or doctors, or they have really, really big plans. And well, our job is, is of course to try to help them achieve those goals and, uh, and also kind of give them a realistic uh, image of how you go through the Finnish schooling system. But you know, you can't just after after ninth grade, you can't really go to study to be a doctor. You have to go first to look you know, and then you have to come into the university and that's really difficult. And, and so all of these things. And uh, so this consists of, so it's a one year program. And uh, part of it is going through uh, subjects from uh, from last, so from seventh, eighth, and ninth grade, and they're trying to get their grades better, also to Lukia, so that they can come into Lukia. And uh, most of them have uh, two; uh, their grades are not good enough for Lukia. But we have some that, that you know, they could come into Lukia if they wanted to, but they feel that their Finnish is not good enough. So they want to study Finnish. So we have Finnish for them six times a week, 75 minutes per hour. So the, the lesson is 75 minutes. And uh, then we also have uh, the, the lessons for, from uh, seventh and eighth and ninth grade. And then they can go to the Lukio courses when they, if they want to, if they feel that they can. And then they have time with me. That's called Ohjaus. Ohjaus is uh, for me. I feel uh, kind of group counseling. <laughs> we we do homework together. Uh, we try to uh, we try to do do kind of exercises to uh, make their academic skills better, write essays, whatever is needed in upper secondary school. And also, I think there's a point of integration here also. Uh, we want their parents to come here to school and we meet them all and tomorrow we're actually having a party for the parents uh, where all the students make food and, and sing for them and everything so that the parents would come to school because Many of these kids' parents have never really been in contact with teachers and, and uh, principals and so on. And uh, <clears throat> then we also kind of try to support, uh, for example, now we had history, they had history uh, last period. And what I did, I took them to Helsinki city center and to Hakaniemi to look at all the buildings that they're talking about in the history books. So here's the building that, you know, in the Civil War of Finland, uh, this happened here, we, we saw all these places. And that kind of made it more real for them also, to, to kind of understand that the history is really, it's really here, it's in the buildings, and it's, it's everywhere, you can see it everywhere with, if you just look around, with, with kind of the lenses of history. And uh, I feel that, that, that this kind of education is very good, good for immigrants that lack uh, the perfect finish that we can we can you know we can uh, draw things if they don't understand <laughs> and, uh, and and really try to try to help them and um, and then we we also try to uh, what actually um, Dolmanen was talking about just now uh, about trying to get them to for example vote or feel like real citizens in Finland. And so I try to uh, kind of make them a little bit politically active to, to now when we have Kuntavalit, uh, they have to go and find on the internet uh, a good candidate for themselves and, and, uh, and try to kind of make an opinion, like what, what, what are my opinions, what do I stand for, what do I want of this country. And I don't think that the problem with these kids are, are that they wouldn't feel at home in Finland. Uh, they just don't, they've never even 
you know, thought about these kinds of things. But uh, when they think about it, they have a lot of opinions, and they don't feel that Finland is ready, that Finland has nothing to make better. They have a lot of, a lot of opinions, and we had a, actually a debate today about the compulsory switch in schools. So well, they, had, they had an actual debate, two people debating in front of everyone about the compulsory Swedish. So, and, uh, and they have very loud and good opinions about this. So, so I don't think at all that these kids uh, don't feel like they have anything to do with being this society. I think they have a lot in front of them. Uh, and why we do this? Why is there a lot? Uh, the main thing is that there is a political strategy uh, for immigrant youth because there are um, statistically not that many in Lukio and not that many in uh, universities. And we need, I think, also uh, immigrants everywhere in the society and also in universities and Lukio. And uh, also, uh, there's more of dropouts in immigrant youth in Lukio and also in vocational studies. The dropout is the risk to drop out of school and uh, is five times bigger if you have an immigrant background. So there's something we need to do, we need to support them and help them. And of course, the, one of the main points is that everyone should have their own way, their own path in education. We cannot say that we need people now to be lahipoitaja and take care of all of our elderly people. Because not everyone wants to be lahipoitaja. Not all Somali uh, women want to be lahipoitaja. Some of them want to be doctors also. And uh, they want to be whatever they want to be, and we cannot choose for them what they want to be. So if somebody wants to go to Lukio, we would try. We, we have to try and help that person to get to their goal and not give goals ready for them to just have. So we really need to help them on their own way and with respect to those people. And of course, of course uh, one of the main things is just to this kind of equality, that there is not uh, big, big differences in people's uh, uh, education and, and uh, correlating with, with ethnic background. We need every people, all people from all ethnic backgrounds in, in different, different uh, places in society. So that, that some ethnic uh, groups would stay in, in uh, lower paid jobs for 30 years is, is not a good thing for the society at all. And of course, one of the main things that Tolvanen also talked about was the marginalization of young people, and uh, which is huge in Helsinki. And this is one just very concrete thing to do, to give them a place, to try to uh, you know, get their better grades better, help them in, fin uh, in Finnish, help them find their path, help them to get into some, some uh, education after after this their school. And of course, the integration of immigrants in school. Uh, this is what I have. I hope you have questions for me. Uh, one thing that I, um, I promised to say was, uh, was this, um, what, 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 how, how our last year's students were where they are now. Because last year we had 11 students in this program. Uh, mainly because it was the first year and we had difficulties in, in even finding people who wanted to come to this program because it was so new. Uh, but uh, for sure I know that nine of them came, uh, did go to Lukio and two of them uh, went to vocational studies. And, and one of the main thing was that one, one of these uh, young men actually last year uh, he tried out these Lukio courses and he, he found out that, you know, this is not my thing. And that was a very good result also. That he saw what Lukio, what upper secondary school is about. And then he understood himself that, that I want to do something else. 
and he got into vocational studies that he really wanted to go into, and even though he would have, if his grades were good enough for Lutia. So this is not a place where everyone has to go to Lutia, it's a place where you can try out Lutia, and then hopefully I can also give you counseling in, in what, what your path would be if it's not Lutia. So we have very good results, hopefully this year also, it feels very good this year also. And uh, probably this will be something that Helsinki City will continue, uh, even though our financing now comes from the states and the states, and it will it will stop uh, in after this year, this semester. So, so hopefully it will will uh, will continue. Do you have any questions? Yes, uh, for the uh, for purposes of the building, uh, do you mind if if you can sit down? And have also some some of the edu education specialists joining uh, joining us in the uh, okay. in the chairs. So yes. please, ladies, take the seats.